getting on and off a train isn't accessible to everyone. Baroness Tani Gray Thompson showing how she had to move her luggage and wheelchair off her train from Leeds last night without assistance. Well, it's now 22.17. No one's come to get me off. They got me on absolutely fine at Leeds. Staff knew I was on and I'm now crawling off the train. The law says that all train and station providers are supposed to have an accessible travel policy, outlining the level of service and facilities passengers can expect, how to get assistance, and also how to get help if things go wrong. LNER's own policy says those needing assistance will be helped off the train within five minutes of its arrival. And if you can't pre-book assistance when you arrive at the station, staff should be able to help. I'm not asking for the moon, I'm just asking to have the same miserable experience of commuting as everyone else. I just, I just want to get on and off a train, but you know, it's, it's not a lot to ask. That's why I come to oh. And that's exactly what campaigner Sam Jennings wants too. She's won compensation for repeatedly being left stranded at stations. I just want the right to turn up and go. I want to go to Streatham Station right now to go to Thameslink, and I want to say, I just need to get on that train, can you get me to St. Practice? And they go, yep, and then they put me on the train. The train company LNER said in a statement it was sorry there'd been an issue at London's King's Cross station on Monday evening. We're in the process of investigating this and are in contact with the customer directly. An independent report published for the government two years ago found that fewer than 2% of railway stations across the UK have level access between the train and the platform, which means a ramp is always required and a member of staff is needed to make it deployable. But charities say change isn't happening quick enough. One even estimated step-free access across all stations won't happen before 2070. Chi Chi Zundu, BBC News.